ಹಾಯ್ ಹಲೋ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಏಯ್ತ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಎಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಎಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಹೈಲೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೆಸನ್ introduction to economics and uh, you have given wonderful support for uh, making the videos and also you are supporting to uh, know about the more information to my channel so thank you very much for your wonderful wonderful support so i am expecting the same support for upcoming videos also so let's come to the what are the very important highlighting points from the lesson introduction to economics so in this lesson you are going to be get the meaning of economics and basic concepts of economics then the importance of studying economics identify economic activities through narrating basic economic problems the differentiate between microeconomics and macroeconomics meaning and importance of economics we use various things in our daily life these are called goods and services goods are the physical and tangible objects like food clothes book bicycle phone television etc but some of the other services are intangible things that are also required for our life for our use the common services used as like electricity transportation education medical care tailoring music mobile and internet services so these are also the services are considered as the intangible are very essential to lead our life so here let's come to the to whom we are going to be called as the consumers while the people using goods and services are called consumers whereas to whom we are called as the producers the people those who are engaged in the production of goods and services are called the producers and then to whom we are called as the distributors these goods and services the producers will produce the goods and services those goods and services are made available to us at our place through the transporters traders and shopkeepers so these transporters traders and shopkeepers we used to called as distributors then till now we get the information about to whom we are called as the producers who are the consumers and who are the producers distributors but there is a question how do we get money that is a very simple question day to day we are going to be by number of goods as well as services we are going to be make utilize to lead the life for buying the goods and services we have to be pay in terms of price it is the value of the goods and services that expressed in terms of money this means that to be able to buy different goods and services acquired by us in our daily life we need money that is vitamin m then how do we get money we are engaged in work or we are employed 
by virtue of the employment we get the income then so we came to know that how we get the money then how the producers and distributors will get the money nothing but the income we spend becomes the income of the producers and distributors then so we are paying the tax to government everyone knows that then why should we pay the tax to government there is also the government which is responsible for maintaining law and orders providing some common basic facilities like roads electricity internal and external security so these are some of the very important responsibilities of the government so while performing the responsibilities it is providing some of the services to us facilities to us as we are using those are all the facilities and services so that government imposes taxes for the goods and services it provides so therefore a normal day is characterized by the interaction the producers distributors consumers and the government how each of them earns income and how they spend forms the core of economic activity then what is economic activity let's come to the we will get the information about what is mean by economic activity so economics may be described as the study of economic activities of individuals or as a science that deals with the production distribution and use of goods and services so we cannot have all the goods and services we wish that means we needs to be purchase the goods and services but some of the resources are in scarce let's come to the what is that concept the money to buy goods and services is limited that means all the people are not rich so that the money is become it is a limited or in a scarce it is common tendency on our part to choose the most pressing or important want first and postpone the less urgent ones hence food is more important than going to movie purchasing seeds and fertilizer so here the more important that is purchasing a classification of wants as more important or less as a tractor so this type of the classification of wants as more important or less important is called as the prioritizing so once prioritized we allocate most of our resources that means money to purchase that commodity which satisfy the chosen wants therefore in situations of the scarcity we choose the most desirable wants or prioritize them in order importance which one is important for our daily life we are going to be give more importance so here is a one example suppose you have only 20 rupees to spend your teacher has asked you to buy a book you want to see the latest movie you want to buy medicine for your headache you have to go home and you are hungry with 
20 in hand. So, is it possible to fulfill these are all the needs? You cannot meet all these requirements. Yes, definitely you will choose among which wants to be satisfied now at the time of situation and which later that wants to be satisfied now and which later. Thus, you may eat something by few tablets because it's a very essential and thinking of going home and put off buying books and moving, weaving movie that is later. This is prioritization and allocation of resources what you are having the rupees 20. So it is an example the concept of prioritization. So therefore scarcity and choice are basic problems which everyone faces and which are the central problems of economics. So let's come to the economics is defined as the social science that examines how people choose to use limited or scarce resources in attempting to satisfy their unlimited wants. That means economics taught us how we have to give the prioritization. How we have to make utilization of with our limited resource with unlimited wants. So economists have defined economics variedly but the definitions below that they are given describes the central idea of economics. Before that so I am going to ask some of the questions to you. Who are consumers? Who are producers? And who are distributors? So dear students, you have to answer these questions and you have to answer in comment box. So put your what, what are your answers that is in comment box. Will you? Okay. So, and let's come to the meaning of economics. The word economics comes from the Greek words okos, mean, meaning household and nomos meaning management. Thus, economics refer to the art of household management that involves using the available means to satisfy the basic needs of the family as well as to prosper. That is the meaning of the word economics. Then what is economics? Let's come to the, the same rule when applied to the whole society implies that economics is the study of how the society uses its resources to satisfy the basic needs of the people as well as for their economic prosperity. The organization of economic activity is called economy. So one example we are get the um, give the information about prioritization. That example it is an individual. When it is applies to a society, then it is considered as an economy. Here, some of the definitions of economics from some of the great economists. As you know that, the father of economics, Adam Smith, given the definition for economics. According to Adam Smith, economics is the study of wealth. And some of the other economists, they have given the definitions as follows. Among that, 
Alfred Marshall has given economics is the study of people in the ordinary business of life and the one more economists Lionel Robinson according to him economics is the science which studies human behavior as a relationship between given ends and scare means which have alternative uses and the one more economists name called as Paul A. Samuelson according to him economics is the study how so societies use scare resources to produce valuable commodities and distribute them among different people so these are some of the definitions has given by few of the great economists so till now we get the information about the introductory part of economics then who are producer who are distributor and who are consumers and what is economy what is prioritization and definition of economics the meaning of word economics and the definition uh, given by few of the economists and here uh, questions for you what is economics and then why Adam Smith is called father of economics so I am expecting first three questions and these two questions dear students must and should you have to answer it in a comment box okay I hope I am expecting your answers as much as okay thank you so this is about today's session and I will come back with the continued part of the next session the economics introduction to economics lesson until keep watching my channel thank you have a nice day bye bye